As part of being a, a secure extended care unit, I'll call it a SECU from now on, uh, people are on intervention involuntary treatment orders and they can't actually leave the, the SECU without the nursing staff at times. Sometimes they can go with families, sometimes they can go by themselves, but often there's limitations on how much they can enter the community without assistance. So we needed to bring an in-house modality into Violent, yes. Entering the Mental Health in Institute can be very disempowering, okay? If you go in as an involuntary client, you lose a lot of your rights, yeah? You, you, you least, least possible restrictive practice can be in a seclusion room if you're very, very unwell and, and a danger to yourself and others. That's the Mental Health Act, okay? So it can be very disempowering. People lose their, their position within society. They lose identity. They lose relationships because they because of what's happened to them and how they're presenting and also simply because they've been in a mental health institution. So psycho rehabilitation is about trying to give back some of those things, trying to facilitate people to gain some of those things again, identity, self-awareness, self-esteem, communication skills, uh, confidence, relating to people in groups, socialising, yes. That psycho rehabilitation it can be done in many different ways. You can offer um, uh, uh, work work skills and community groups and things like that. But this we looked at arts, so we wanted to offer a, an arts-based group therapeutic work. Just offering arts, <laughs> okay? They, they, they talk about the continuum of art, so there's everything from art therapy, which are, you know, is a group run by an art therapist who's a professional and is teaching therapeutic techniques and inclusivity and group, group dynamics, as well as working with different uh, modalities for people's sensory touch, all those sorts of things. And then there's just, you can, all the way through to, you can just have activities that are diversional and give people things to do rather than to be sitting around not doing anything in a, in a ward or unit, yeah? And everything in between. We ended up actually deciding on, the art therapist chose art with, with a healing purpose because it was in the middle of the road. They loved it. Okay, we did a survey originally because we wanted to, we thought arts and then we surveyed them and there was a lot of positive response for arts, so we got to go ahead with and then, of course, we just had to pick what we could find, not necessarily a lot of people wanted photography, we couldn't find a photographer. My a colleague of mine, who's a Division Two nurse, or SEN, I think they're called now, down at the Valen Complex, who's worked there for several years, he wanted to introduce something arts, so we started that discussion. And then I was doing my postgraduate last year and was doing mental health interventions. And we started looking at talking therapies, blah, 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 therapies, yeah. and. Uh, I started looking at art therapy as an, as an option within the scope of offering another activity at Farland. The mere fact that some people were sitting in the room, for example, whether it be in the music therapy or the, which was, wasn't really music therapy, it was more of a music session because there wasn't a true music therapist there, but within the, the music we offered, the patient groups and the art therapy was that people chose to stay there for the whole two hours, if you know what I mean, and that in, in its in its is, is, a, is a big feat for some people, yes, because they don't sit still on the ward. They're always mobile, sitting down, getting up, walking around. It's a, so, so we offered them concentration, something that was worthwhile to concentrate on, that they could come out with an end product and go, look, I made this, you know, this is mine. That's very empowering and very... Uh, it's not psychopathology either. It's, you know, it's my artwork. It's a real object that people can relate to, you know. But the other things we offered, the film, that was more of a art as a diversional therapy where we where we would bring it in every Friday, we would bring popcorn out, we would sit down a lot I volunteered a lot of time there to go and just put the movie on and have the clients there and then we'd watch the movie, we'd be making comment during the movies, trying to ascertain people's feelings and maybe what how they could relate to the film on a personal basis. We also tried to normalise it, like a normal Friday night with popcorn and everyone sitting around talking, eating and watching a film. They loved it. It also created a lot of time for staff to be able to do extra paperwork and, and sit down and sort through other things on the ward because the people were occupied and they were fruitfully occupied. They really enjoyed it. Uh, the art therapist, Sun Leinster, she put out a survey for the clients and it was asking basically they enjoyed it, would they like to do it again, what did they like the most. There was, all of them loved her. All of them loved her. They really appreciated the direction of a, somebody who was a professional in that 
in that um, in that role, uh, and they would like to do more. There was definitely a forecast for that, particularly of course during the movie night because people, as I said before, were fruitfully focused and engaged in another activity, which means that they weren't engaging in behaviours that are common up there at, at the Valen complex within the, the secure student extended care unit as well, which is people consistently coming up to the window asking for silly things often. It's just because they need attention and we're unable to give it to them at that time because we're engaged in other things, yes. So there was definitely a decrease in that, that people weren't coming up to the window, they were staying and sitting in one spot and enjoying themselves. So none of this, none of the behaviours, none of the wandering behaviours that you can get, pacing, uh, there were no outbursts amongst the, amongst the residents. They were all very happy to be together. No fighting, I suppose, is what you could say. Uh, outbursts is a better word. I believe if you track it over time, there are me other measurable outcomes, such as decreases in PRN medication, uh, decreases in restlessness, less behaviours that you, you can observe. This happened also after the art therapy because people were more calm when they came back to the community. And instead of coming up and, and asking for yet again another cup of coffee or to put something on that bruise again, they might have come up and said, I did this artwork today. I don't, I, would you like to see it? Or So they were in, more engaged with, with the, the staff as opposed for just wants and needs. Uh, and it was only a 10 week project. That's why really the evidence base for particularly art therapy is at least a minimum of six months, okay? So we, that's why we want funding to do another program of at least six months to see if it actually will assist people into the community. And, but it, skills that were necessary to live in the community successfully were being enhanced over that short period of time. That's one of the outcomes. So. Can you postulate that for on a six month, 12 month basis? Possibly, but it, yes, it's not correct scientifically to do it right now. <laughs>